Hi everyone! So recently I have been requested from several people to do an Anna type video and you guys know I recently picked up pretty much everything she brought to HSN had it here for a while but we've had other things I need to get to first you know I'm a collector so I like to just have the things and I'll get to them when I can get to them um, but if any of these are still available I believe everything is like I said it's new to HSN I'll have links in the description box those would be affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission if you're purchased I'm still those links I think this is everything that I recently picked up um, I don't know what I did. I showed these things like in a video that had to do with I think, the swap. So if you're not doing the swaps or not interested in that, maybe you didn't even see it. So I'm going to go over real quick the things I had picked up. And um, yeah, and I know a lot of people are waiting for craft day to check out their cart. If you would do me a favor, if you're using my affiliate links at all, just come back to one of my videos like that has to do with Diamond Press or this one or whatever and click that HSN link again. <laughs> it's down here in the description box because what happens is computers and the affiliate program they forget about that link after like a day some sometimes it's a couple days sometimes it's a week it just depends on your settings and then the actual uh, company's program so if you can do that that would be wonderful but if you forget don't worry about it I just uh, put that out there all right guys uh, I appreciate it um, okay so yeah so kind of interesting because they go, they're going into the craft day with an Anna Griffin show on the 17th right like at 11 p.m. midnight or 8 p.m. East um, Pacific Standard Time I don't know if they're gonna do a cart I have no I never know about that I wish I did I wish like I would get that info from you know Diamond Press or LDRS but like they don't really know themselves anyway so um, I don't know I know last time around they did the $10 cart that was in November or whatever the last craft show was I don't know if they're doing that roughly a ten dollar car or at all or whatever uh, I know right now they have free shipping on over seventy five dollars of clearance stuff but I don't, I don't have that intel so again that's kind of why people wait I believe for the craft day so if you do and you want to refresh those links just click on any one of the items and that'll be fine um, it'll work for anything that you pick up but I've been using this this is the Anna Griffin uh, sweetheart impression die set they do also have this with ink and of course I don't really like using these with ink so I didn't pick that up but um, I think it's just like 10 bucks more I think to get the ink pads but um, super pretty I use this for the uh, swap recently and this cupid I mean he is just the cutest the heart I mean, everything works so well and so I really really like this set um, today I guess I should say it's not just a haul like a quick overview haul. I'm going to use the concertina dies which I've been requested from many people and they're interesting because they're called concertina so you think it does something like maybe it opens up in a certain way but no it's just a card so it's just called concertina. Uh, so we'll check that out in a minute. Um, I had also picked up the corner cut and emboss folders. Again this is just to add a little something here and there so like I already went through it in the other video but we have these four different corners. You know one thing I didn't mention is about how big they are. Um, once it's cut down, it's like one and three quarter inches from, you know, the end to here. So if that gives you an idea, um, and that's a larger one, this one's a little bit smaller. So, um, there's two folders in here. They cut two of each at once. So you have four designs, which is really nice. Um, so I will try those out very soon. The, uh, embossing folders which are interesting because I didn't expect this. So what happens is there's a five by seven and there's a slim line, which for her is like four by nine, I think yeah four by nine and they're the exactly the same design so this is climbing rose climbing rose in the two different sizes and then we have heart harlequin heart harlequin in the two different sizes which i enjoy that they're here but wouldn't it have been awesome if they had just done one big one like this and made four different designs <laughs> like uh spellbinders this is so smart i mean the only thing with this is obviously it has to go into a larger machine um so if you, you only have marquee it's not going to work for you but um i do like that that's just all in one and we could have had you know the same effect but done more quickly so it's called hearts and flowers 3d embossing folders i think these are the concertina dies they better be in there right now i was like where are the nouveau dies because i have another set of dies i i guess i showed them real quick i don't remember so these are the ones we'll be working with today i might throw in a rosette or two because i really want to use the rosette set so that's the concertina dies we'll talk about that in just a minute tons of dies on that one um this is the impression set the salon nouveau and I was waiting for this. Is this just one sheet of them? I believe it is because, yeah, it's just the one. So this is the Salon Nouveau ones. Again, impression dies. I like to use them with metallic papers or, like, um, pearlescent papers because it does give them a different texture. It's really interesting. Really pretty. It has, like, little cutout areas. So these are just little things you tuck here and there, maybe behind something. Um, I'm really happy to have this. I think this is a really gorgeous. Look at this one. I mean, look at this flower. It's like a camellia or something like that. Like, really pretty. The two little corner pieces. The butterfly, of course. So I might, I might try to ink these again. It's just, it's not my favorite way to use them. I just like to 
use them in like metallic like what you see back here so there's that okay these are the rosette dies I did cut tons of these for the swap but I have not used them yet myself so um, hopefully maybe I'll make one or pop it on there or I don't know we'll see for today but this is how it looks and it's called uh, paper trick yeah, tricks and yeah I guess cut and emboss folders she's been doing this for a long time the earlier iterations of them were like pretty crazy because it was back in the day when it was like you have a stencil and then you or the die and then you had like the embossing folder and it was just like a whole thing um, I have these new flowers, um, flowers, well, mostly, m new stickers with love bouquet stickers that hopefully I'll use today. Um, I'm going to try to. I, I really don't know what I'm going to do with that concertina, so I'm just like, hmm. Um, really pretty little flowers and cute little things, hearts and stuff that are in there um, that we can add to our creation. So I'm going to keep that here. Um, oh, this is the impression dies. Oh, do I have? Oh, yeah, the uh, sweetheart impression dies that I sh first showed you. The Cupid. And then these guys, and apparently I didn't keep the paperwork for this one, so that's a bummer. Um, some new borders that she has. And then I also got the Slimline Pocket dies, which must be somewhere in this pile because I don't have them here. I thought I kept everything together. Um, and so I'll try those out as soon as I can. And obviously past craft day too because craft day is sneaking up on us isn't it so I'll try to use these things uh, very soon but again you know I just love collecting these and they're so pretty so um okay so we said we were going to do concertina did I put it back away no it's here <laughs> I was like I don't remember putting them back yeah I have the slim line oh oh what else am I ordering the um Cart Noir? What's it called? Something Noir. The new uh, Anna Griffin uh, finishing school. So people ask all the time, where'd you get that box? And they're bummed out that they don't get those boxes. If you want the finishing school, I will have it linked in the description box. But just know um, it's an auto ship. And, you know, later on, HSN usually has extras, but not always. So always keep an eye out for that. But the auto ship is now open already. So again... Do you want to jump on it? Are you waiting for the 18th? I don't know, but I'll have the link in the description box there for you guys. So, I'm kind of wanting to use those valentine things. They don't have to be Valentine. The heart, um, the hearts. What am I talking about? The flowers. I mean, there are hearts, but like the little flowers, we could do something else. Or I can make it more springy. Huh. Okay, so on this set, I mean, there's just a ton of dies. So this big guy, obviously, we need to cut our base card with this. If you want to, I suppose you can just start with a 5x7, don't even worry about this. But it has that nice shape to it all around, so it's nice to use. But this is a big guy, so you need a larger machine. I'll probably run this through the tangerine. I don't feel like putting this in the Empress. Uh, but it's just over 7 inches. The actual cutting part is 7 inches, because it's going to make a 5x7, but just over with the metal, uh, the die itself. And then in the other way, it's probably just over 10. Yeah, it's over 10 inches, because it's a 5 by seven we're gonna cut so we need that car base we have this background piece if you wanted this guy cuts his own thing it's not an inlay so he cuts its own layer this is a background layer back here this one cuts its own thing so it's like a little um just cute decorative piece i suppose like a frame if you wanted to uh this guy right here cuts its own little thing has its own edge of course there's like embossability all those little areas that you see that are recessed but don't have a cutting edge are for embossing um Oh, you know what? I'm a crazy person. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said I was going to run this through the tangerine, right? I was like, this doesn't fit in the spellbinders. Um, yeah, duh, because I said tangerine. Okay, uh, we have all these little swirls and cute things. They each have, uh, they cut their own thing, and then they each have a background. And I mean, all these things. And you guys know I just got this new mat, so um, one thing I'm looking out for is whenever the camera shakes like that. This <laughs> looks like it's fidgeting, this white line. So I want to get rid of that. I'll just come in a little bit. Okay. I, think, I feel like I can tell more when the camera shakes. <laughs> anyway, uh, all these little flourishes, the background, this gorgeous topper again. I'm assuming... This is interesting. I was going to say, are they the same shape? They fit in there in a way, but they're not the same shape. You know what I'm saying? Whatever this cuts, um, it coordinates. It's just not exactly the same. Hopefully you can see that. And then again, this one also has its little inner pieces, kind of like this one does, but this one has a few more. Um... I was going to say, this is like wishbones. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah, and this guy cuts this shape out. I don't know if you see that. Well, we'll see it when we get there. So I need to make some paper selections, like a lot of them. And, um, oh, and I mentioned the Spellbinders machine. This is now back in stock, you guys. And if you are a member of any of the clubs, 
um, they do take 10% off uh, automatically. You know how that go goes when you log in. And um, if you remember last month, you would have gotten a coupon that gives you, I think, 10 or 15% off your first purchase this year. Um, I think it ends in January, so you want to make sure to use that dur dur during January. But just a reminder, because i got to use mine too, and you would get that percentage off of the machine. So, All right, let me <laughs> grab lots of papers. I'll be right back. Okay, I made a few selections to begin with. Yes, I think this will work. I was going to do this whole matting, like the back, you know, the card, the background mat, like uh, this one has the background mat. It looks like she did in vellum, maybe, and then this topper one. So I was going to do that. But I think just so this can be more gossamer, and you can see at least some of this beautiful card that's going to be in the back, even though we're really going to cover it up. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll use this one with no background, and then we'll use this as, like, topper pieces, some of the gold. So for right now, all I'm going to do is run through this guy that is going to completely <laughs> you're not going to see really anything um i'm going to put it like here hold on i guess if i wanted to the smartest thing would be to put it like this you see how this whole frame now if i just want to use this card base to have that pretty edge you can definitely do that and look at that this whole thing just fits right in there that would be the front of my card that'd be pretty but it's going to cover up so much anyway so i don't i don't know maybe i, I don't want to waste this whole piece of paper <laughs> just to try to catch that little bit um but the edges are going to show, so that's kind of what I'm more looking at. But you know what? I guess I'll cut it from here. Ugh. So weird. You know, when you're like, hmm. Okay. So I will trim this paper down, because obviously the tangerine doesn't even get that big, even though it's a pretty big guy. Um, and I've already shown you, if you don't have extended cutting plates, let's say you do have the Empress or... Uh, the Gemini should come with plates big enough, but like this guy, these are the impressed plates. So what I would do is cut this down, make your sandwich from the front and the back, of course, and the magnetic mat, whatever it is that you do to make your sandwich. Run it through, because um, you can run it through wide like this, right? Yeah. And then let this piece cut, and then remove your plates carefully, and move your plates down, and then run it through and let the rest of it cut. And then that way, you don't need to have the extended plates for something like this. Anyhow. Okay, I'm going to cut this down and run that through. And then I'm also just going to do... Oh, sorry guys. This one. I'm trying to make it a little Valentine's, even though it doesn't have to be Valentine's. Put this guy on here. Okay? Um, and then this guy I am going to rubber emboss. So whatever your system does for rubber embossing, um, I can put this in the Spellbinder system, no problem. It's um, the, the little guy, the one, the Platinum 6, because it's a 6-inch machine. Um... You know, go ahead and tape this down. I'll show you kind of what I would do to prep for that real quick. Whenever I have to do rubber embossing, I always tape, 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 because you never know. You don't really want it to shift or move on you, so maybe in there. This middle part cuts out, so <laughs> if I was to tape it, it was just going to fall away anyway. So try to tape as well as you can to, like, the actual thing, like this. You're going to run it through, go ahead and die cut it, and then do your rubber embossing. So for me, it's usually flipping it over and putting the rubber embossing mat and being careful making your sandwich and then rolling it back through, okay? So, I'll be back. I kind of like rubber embossing is kind of like, ugh, because um, all those little bits that want to fall out, you want to make sure they're not in the way. <laughs> because they will emboss again in your own, you know, um paper possibly where you don't want them to so it's kind of like eh, you want to clear it out but at the same time you don't want it to move from your die so it's just like I but it is well worth it look at that hold on I'll try to let this thing focus here there we go the little flowers oh so cute okay let me clean up I'll be right back I don't know why I say let me clean up. Basically, all I'm doing is moving things aside so you don't see them in the video. <laughs> you don't see them in the screen. I'm not really cleaning. But anyhow, okay, so here's our card base and nice score line there for it. So that's perfect. Yay. Okay, again, you know, I mean, it's kind of facing down in a way if I wanted this side. It doesn't matter at this point. If there is a direction into your paper, you definitely want to obviously put the direction how you want it, but... So, all I'm looking now is seeing through to see, like, do I want this side to be showing? Because basically the edge is all you're really going to see. <laughs> or do I want this side? And I kind of think I want this side because it has more of the little florals around here and there. So, that's going to be that layer. Again, I did this on purpose so it's just a little more see-through so I can see more of that paper in the background. We have um, gold pieces, which, you know, I enjoy. Um, 
kind of interesting how she has that vellum. I'm like, maybe I should do some vellum. We don't do vellum too often, do we? Um, okay, because the next die is to choose from are these guys. You know, we have this big boy back here. I'm just trying to see. She did this one in vellum and then didn't put anything in the background, which is really pretty. Uh, she also did that one in gold and didn't put anything in the background. Hmm. Because I do the gold, it's going to be so small. Well, actually, we can do this one. Let me grab some vellum. And <laughs> I do have some of her vellum that I bought separately, but I also have it in a bunch of kits. So I'm just going to go to one of my kits and grab, like, a white or pink vellum or something. We'll do this one. So that'll be, like, in here, nice and soft. And then maybe we'll do this one in gold. Let me see if this one. Yeah. So, is that all the gold I'll be using? No, I'm going to use some more, probably. So I'll run that through. Let me grab some vellum. I'll be right back. Gosh, you guys, I need to get some coffee going. These are the vellum there in here. Ah, oh, they finally lost that weird smell. <laughs> took a long time. Uh, this one looks white. Maybe we can go with that. I think the pink colors and the other colors are kind of too off from what I'm doing to choose that, you know? So, yeah, let's do this one. It looks white. I don't know. And I'll just put that back away in just a minute. Or never. I might just leave it just like that. That works, too. Okay, so um, on this one, all I'm going to do is run this through. I don't know that I want to emboss the vellum. Because vellum is some funny stuff. So I don't know if that's the best thing to do. Uh, the best use of this is like this. I don't want to waste it either. Yeah, when I first saw them, I like, I must do something. And then I got them home. I'm like, oh, I guess they're just they're just pretty. That's all. Um, let me see what this looks like if we just run it through. I'll run it through this little guy just because I don't know. If I was putting this to the marquee, um, I would put a piece of foam behind it. But um, let me see what this does. So what I've been doing with my little spellbinders is only cutting through, cutting this one plate. And as you can see, it is well loved. I've been cutting, 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 and it's not warped or anything, so that's really nice. But I never had that issue with cuddle bug. I've never had that issue really with anything. And so people, I don't know what people are doing, but people are always like, my plates are warped. I'm still literally in my cuddle bug using the original plates. If I ever use the cuddle bug, I don't hardly bring it out anymore. But um, so I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> But, like you said, I always use the least amount of pressure necessary to get the job done. So I don't try to overwhelm my little machines. Okay, so I'm going to turn this over just so I can see what's going on here. If it looks like it needs to be embossed. You know what? I don't think it needs it. I don't know. Because I can see the little pokey holes. Huh. I guess we could try it. <laughs> but, see, this is the thing. So I'm clearing it out. I'm going to place it back on here very carefully where it was. Try to hold that down. And then with the Skullbinder system, all you do is place it back on here. And since I didn't actually clean this guy off, I'm going to shake it off. Oh gosh, this is so scary. Put that back on there. This guy. And we'll see. If it tears it, we'll just do it again, but without the embossing. I thought this was going to be a quick video. I was like, oh, I'll just do it real quick. But I've been walking through different steps. Um, cute. I mean, it gave us those little leaves down here and a little bit of edging that's a little bit different. It's like recessed. I don't know if you can see that. Where this is brought up, the other. That's what it looks like. Pretty cool. Okay. I'll run through that other gold piece and I'll be right back. I just want to show you this one. Pretty much embossed, I think, as much as I care for it, too. I'm not going to run it back through. Just the pressure did all that. Okay. Let's put these things to the side. Those are all my pieces. I feel like I had more pieces. <laughs> okay. So, again, you know, with Anna, um, she likes to pop things up. Are we going to pop this guy up? We can. And then this guy's in there, and that guy's in there for more dimensions. So I think we can do that. Um, I was going to say, should I use my little... I feel like I tease you guys when I bring this kit out, because everyone's like, where did you get that? And they really want it. <laughs> um, 
it used to be on HSN. I haven't checked Anna's site herself, but I have this little like decoupage kit. So it has like little tiny, tiny, tiny squares, but then it has larger and larger ones too. So like right now I'll probably use like this mid size. But if I needed to get into a small area, I would pick out some of the small, small ones and go that way. But like for now, I'm just gonna take a moment to pop these guys all throughout to keep my little frame up and not sinking in any areas. And I'll be back. Just getting this off here. I just realized I haven't chosen a sentiment. That's one thing that's not in that kit. I do have other Valentine kind of kits though. Or just like with love or whatever kind of kits. Um, so I'm looking at this. I'm not quite squishing it down just yet. That looks pretty good. Okay, and then we have this guy that's going to pop in there, and this guy. Now, I think I'm just going to glue these together because I have some other things I want to try out. So if I was to glue this together and then make a couple of little rosettes, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. We will see. So if I glue this, I'll probably pop this up in the center so it has that same height, you know. So let's do that. Let's look at the flowers really quick before I see about rosettes. Yes, I threw that on the floor. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Uh, I'm just going to pull some of these guys out. I mean, there's just tons. There are tons. That is tons, sorry. Okay. Oh, so pretty. Okay, if we had this, like maybe something like that. But then, too, if I bring in the rosettes, I might want that. And here's the opposite one. No, that's the same one. Hold on. Do we have an opposite one? I'm sure we do. She's been doing that where she puts opposites, so I don't see why there wouldn't be one, but I don't see it yet. <laughs> don't quite see it yet. Oh, those are pretty. Hmm. Oh, Oh, it does have little people. I was like, I like this one because it's more flowers and like hearts and stuff, but it does have some like little angels. Oh, interesting. So I'm going to poke through this. I mean, look at this. This one's like... Like irises, how pretty. Okay, well, I'm going to go through and see. I mean, even something like that, right, would work. What I would want to do, or what flowers I would want to use, roughly. And then um, we'll go from there. I'll be right back. Well, let's pretend we're going to do something like this. I don't know. I just, I'll probably change it because um, I want to put it rosettes and I don't even know how to use rosettes, really. So something new for me more recently. Usually what I used to do with them is just pop them on like cute little tags or something, you know, just for funsies. But um, I want to see, like this is really tiny. This just makes your basic rosette. And this one has like the little lines. I'm thinking more like this one. That might be too big. Maybe we'll go with this one. So I'm going to run this through on this side. So what I'm going to do is use this opposite side of that paper so that these little rosettes have like some of the same colors brought back in. So I'm going to do is just uh, cut this down a little bit, run it through, and then I'll worry about the centers later, okay? But for now, I'm going to do one. I think we need two of these for each rosette. Does it even say anything about that? Let me see. I don't think this has much instruction. <laughs> it says literally nothing. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's two of them, at least. Okay, I'll be back. All right, so I don't know if you can see, these have score lines. And I guess at this point I could use either side, but um, these are really interesting because I don't really know where to score them. I'm assuming it's at every one of those little marks, but they're kind of weird. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? The score lines that are there, they're more decorative, in my opinion, than there are actual score lines, but that's where you're folding them. So up and down, I'm making these guys pointy. I'm not really even folding them that much. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just kind of bringing them in. Kind of weird. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this one's odd. Okay, I feel like we're just folding it there and not everywhere. You know, you just give me a little bit of a squish, but not really all the way to the tip. So I'm just folding them at the bottom part of this. So again, front and back, they are folding really quickly or easily, should I say. Um, I think when Anna presented these, she had mentioned that, um, this last one has a little bit of a fold. Um, that she puts glue on the back of them adhesive as she goes along, but that doesn't make any sense. Like, I've never done rosettes that way. 
And what you usually do is you stick it together and then you have that little cup and then you stick them down. So anyway, I'm going to take a moment to do these also the same way. That goes back, this goes front. So on the higher peaks, I'm pushing those forward, right? Mountain fold, valley fold, mountain fold towards you, valley fold back, mountain fold up, okay? You can see it's happening pretty quickly. But I'll finish this side up and crease it really well. And in the meantime, I do need the circles. I just didn't want to do them in gold because I'm like, eh, what's the point? So for the one in the back, also, which circle do I want to use? Aww. Okay, well, for the one in the back, I'm just going to run this through because it's a little bit bigger. Whichever one of these circles, I, get, I just want one. And then I'm going to run through the gold one, but I'm not sure which one yet until I see how big the rosette is. So I'm just going to run this through real quick just to get one of these circles. Again, I can just pop a circle out, one of my little circle punches. But whatever, I'll run this through. I'll be right back. Okay. I have just a little circle. Again, I could have punched this from a circle punch before I really, really finish this up. So basically at the end here, like I said, this one looks like it goes back. And then this one starts off with a weird little one that's kind of high. It's higher than that small one, but not as high as this guy. You're just going to glue those together. And if you want to glue that behind, this is probably what I would do because it's more well hidden. Do you see that? So I'm going to put glue on this little piece. And glue those together. So it's kind of a continuation. Hopefully you can see that of what was going on. I'll close up just a little bit. And generally, I fire up a hot glue gun for this, but I'm only making one. I might, I was thinking about making two, but we'll see. <laughs> I might make two. But either way, I'm not going to make enough that I want to fire up my hot glue gun. So I'm going to have to hold this down for a little bit when I put it on that circle. But I'm okay with that. I'll just deal with it. <laughs> okay. Hopefully that's holding on well enough for now. Okay. And basically over here, we're going to do the same thing. And I, look how pretty that is on this side. But anyway, <laughs> I'm just bringing this over. And again, that little bit that's a little bit taller, I'm going to put glue all down that and match it up to this side. And I'm going to hold on to that for just a little bit too. Okay, guys, so I'll be back. But you see, we just made a little cup. Okay, guys. So again, um, we have our little cup. And all we're going to do... I have the wrong side that way. We're going to push in. And we're going to see, again, this is the first time I've used this set. And since it didn't have any words or any kind of instruction, um, we'll see if the little circle I use is big enough. So basically, you're going to crunch these guys up in here. And that's your little rosette. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know that the circle I cut is the biggest one or the one I need. The other ones were smaller, even. And this is why hot glue works so much better, because you can just put it on there and just boop pop that on there right but for now I'm going to have to hold all of this <laughs> so if you have hot glue please use that right now I'm just kind of this is gonna fight me for sure um, oh and also I want it on the back side because I'm gonna cover that up anyway so let's do that again and turn it over and now I'm making this look really wonderful I'm, I promise you it's easier <laughs> especially with hot glue because you would just hold it here put a ton of hot glue in there and you're good to go but I am going to put a bunch of glue on this bring this little guy in try to keep it nice and I'm just gonna pop this on here and hold it down for a long time because I use the wet glue <laughs> so I'm gonna hold this for a while you guys I'll be back you guys, while I'm holding that, it's just barely holding on that little tiny circle, so definitely use the larger one. <laughs> I'm going to try to punch a circle with one hand. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Okay, and I'm going to put a ton of glue on this, and I'm going to back it up even more because this is kind of a pain holding on to this. Definitely use hot glue. I'm telling you, use hot glue, you pop it down, you can just let it go. But I didn't. And next time I won't hesitate. Now you see it's mostly holding down, but there's some little edges that aren't. So I'm just going to do this and disregard that little guy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hold it with this and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I've decided rosettes are finicky little creatures. I went ahead and started my glue gun up. I should have done that to begin with. And I apologize, I did not. I don't even know that this is big enough to cover that little circle. But what I'm going to do is, look at this. I mean, if if Nuo Deluxe, who dries so fast, <laughs> can't hold this thing, uh, we're all doomed. I'm going to take this off. 
literally it just did nothing I'm gonna remove this one too <laughs> and I fired up my hot glue like I should have done to begin with let me squish this back so now it's pretty much trained though at least because it's been I've been holding it like this for so long which is crazy now um, I'm just going to really make sure there's a ton of hot glue on this outer edge. That's really what's holding this thing. Oh no. I was going to say, I don't want to get hot glue on my new mat already. Right out the gate. Would not be fun, but whatever. You guys, I should have just done this to begin with. I'm sorry. I apologize. And I've learned my lesson. <laughs> I was like, don't do this at home. You guys fire up your hot glue. I'm going to sit here and torture myself, though, for no reason. And I mean, look at that, right? That's why you need it. Now, this is the, this is the largest center that's in that set, and it's barely covering that hole. So, hmm. um, you know, whatever. I guess I probably could squish it in more if I really wanted to, but I'm not going to. So now I'm going to put the hot glue on this side. And hopefully it's touching something because it has to touch those very edges basically for this to hold on. So I'm going to kind of move it a little bit, give it a little zhuzh. So I know that that hot glue is touching at least some of this. And this rosette is actually too big for what I wanted. <laughs> After all of that, I might make it work, but for now it's a little big. Um, might as well leave the hot glue gun on, I guess. I did go and while I was waiting for the hot glue to fire up, I grabbed these sentiments. Uh, it's the birthday, mini birthday sticker and sentiments, and I was looking for like a thank you or like a love kind of card, but this is cute, and also that's kind of like an oval wish. Happy birthday to you, with all the best wishes. That might be good, huh? Maybe that one. Because that's a little more generic than birthday in my opinion, but, and this guy's ready to go. Let's see. The reason I left the hot glue on is that I thought, well, I can just clump some hot glue in here and in here, and that'll act as a 3D kind of glue gel. Don't squish it, just kind of leave it there so it's sitting there without being squished down, right? So I'm going to leave that to set up a little bit. Now we have this big boy. That's so I'm like, ooh, this is a lot bigger than I wanted. A lot bigger. But... What I can do is, where's my sentiment? I already lost it, okay. So that guy can go there. I'm not pushing it down quite yet. Waiting for that hot glue to set up. So I'll think about what I want to arrange now if I am going to use this, and then um, how that might look, okay? Oh I'll gosh, be right back. You guys, this is not even what I was thinking about doing, but I like this. So these actually, these flutes come from the same birthday pack. And I think this is how I'm going to do it. Okay. <laughs> is this set up yet? I don't want to squish the hot glue, but it's taking forever to set up. Okay, this should be a sticker, and if not, I can hot glue it, but it should be a sticker. Come on, buddy. And then people are like, oh, you can tell the difference because the stickers are white on the back and the other ones are cream colored, and it's like, I cannot tell the difference between the white and the cream color. But thank you for that tip. This has a little texture again because I used the hot glue back there. This guy, I mean, I guess I can take the sticker off, but... And this one came off much easier. And I'm going to leave it hanging off the side. Sometimes all I do is try to take the stickiness off or however, but... Yeah, I think I'm just going to put a little flower like that because that brings in some flowers up here. And then this guy, since he's so big and just like whatever, I'm going to put some stuff on top of him and have him be like more focal, right? I am going to glue this though with some hot glue put that one down kind of like in here you know while the other one's kind of more out this way <gasps> cute uh, yesterday I didn't really do a freeform Friday but the diamond press video I think was pretty much a freeform Friday we made our own background and all that kind of stuff I was gonna do a rosette video completely just about rosettes yesterday what I was looking forward to doing and I just didn't have the time so we want this really to not go anywhere <laughs> So I'm like, I'm really going to take care of this new mat. I don't want it to get dirty, and I'm getting probably hot glue all over it right now. 
Oh my gosh, you guys. This video is longer than I thought. <laughs> Mostly because I was fighting with this rosette, but that's actually pretty cute. Now, of course, we're not going to shove this into <laughs> an envelope. I mean, you can make like a... Oh, maybe that's another video I should do. It's super easy. Just make um, like a box envelope, right? Um, a velo box, as uh, Crafts Companions would call it. But look at that. That's pretty cute. And then with all the best wishes, and then you have your little flutes. Super adorable. A little something, you know, so the your eye is more over here. I mean, if you want to add like some gems and things, I mean, that's just all, you know, some pearls would be really nice, right? Because of the style. And then I would probably cut this outer die. Um, again, the this guy maybe from some ivory paper or some off-white paper to put inside because obviously you can't really write on this pattern but super cute all right guys thanks for watching we had fun didn't we, we tried out a few different things just get the hot glue save yourself the headache i'm sorry that i was just like oh, i'll just hold this down i didn't, honestly didn't think it was gonna take that long i've done it before with just regular glue but wow um anyway all right, guys, thanks for watching. I have some images for you. I have links in the description box. Um, again, those are for HSN. All these items are available now. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.